You've probably never put that much thought into this little guy. Well, he's a pretty big deal. He's also one of the reasons you're alive and in tip-top shape right now. In fact, as you're watching this video, your body is at constant war against invaders that are literally trying to kill you and use your body as their new home. But, thank god for leukocytes, aka white blood cells, the knights in shining armors, our protectors and heroes. Okay. What are we waiting for? Get comfortable and sit tight because we are about to get to know these cells that are literally keeping you alive. Let's start from the beginning. Where do these white blood cells come from? Well, they are produced and derived in the bone marrow, from multipotent cells in the bone marrow to be exact, known as hematopoietic stem cells. The lovely leukocytes are known to have a nucleus, unlike red blood cells. White blood cells are divided into the five main types, monocytes, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes, and neutrophils. Now, some of them are agranular, while others are granular. Their percentage in your body differ from type to type. And don't worry, in this video I'll teach you all about these awesome cells. The number of leukocytes in blood is the indicator of disease. Thus, the normal white blood cell count is usually between 4,000 to 11,000 white blood cells per microliter of blood. Now, some types of white blood cells are generalist, meaning that they will respond to any foreign invader in the body. These are phagocytes. Their name literally means to eat. And like Pac-Man, they indiscriminately chase down intruders and gobble them up. They come in a few different varieties. First, you've got neutrophils, which are the most abundant type of your white blood cells. They kind of self-destruct after devouring a pathogen, and in fact, you've actually seen piles of their little dead bodies. Yes, that is what puss is made of. But the bigger, tougher phagocytes are the macrophages. Now, let's say you got a paper cut while reading a book. Yes, books can be dangerous, don't act all surprised-like, so watch out for that one reading next time. Especially if it's a good book. I mean, my god, sometimes you just get so excited and... Oh, sorry, got a little off topic there. Where were we? Yeah, macrophages. So, um, when it sees a new bacterium coming along, it snares it using cytoplasmic extensions, reels it in, completely engulfs it, digests it, and spits the rest out. And unlike neutrophils, it can do this over and over and over again, like Macrophages boss. are derived from monocyte white blood cells, and some are free types that patrol tissues looking for creepers, while others are fixed attached to fibers in specific organs, devouring anything suspicious that passes by. We mentioned that macrophages are derived from monocytes. They are characterized by the large kidney-shaped nucleus. They are the main phagocytes of the human body, and they are in the blood. We also have eosinophils, which have bilobes nuclei, and of course they too play a major role in defense against parasites. Lastly, we have basophils. They are hard to find and the least common type of the granulocytes. Kind of shy. They are responsible for inflammatory reactions by secreting histamine. Now, moving on to the non-phagocytic cells, the lymphocytes. These are the smallest type of white blood cells. They play a role in producing antibodies. One type of lymphocytes are the natural killer cells, which is like the awesomest name of any cell in the body. Anyway, these tiny assassins patrol your blood and lymph looking for abnormal cells and are unique in that they can kill your own cells if they are infected with viruses or have become cancerous. The question is though, how can they tell? Well, a normal healthy cell contains a special protein on its surface called MHC1. But if it's infected, it stops making that protein, and if an NK cell detects a defected cell, it doesn't swallow it whole like a macrophage, it pokes it with an enzyme that triggers apoptosis, or programmed cell death, which is pretty awesome. We finally reached the end, my friends. We hope you now know more about these awesome leukocytes, and remember, your body is both resilient and fragile, and it survives only when the sum of its many complicated parts stay balanced and work together, and that is the glorious wonder of you that God created so finely.